Hi, Shaq. Welcome back. We have uh, case number 29. Mm -hmm. Anne Katrin, please go ahead. Our next patient is a 39 year old male. In October 2006, he was diagnosed with an atrial septal defect. Currently, he suffers from exertional dyspnea. He has no other past medical history. ECG showed sinus rhythm with a heart rate of 73 beats per minute in the right bundle block branch block. TEE showed good left ventricular function, but right heart dilation. No intracardiac thrombus was seen. The ASD measured 18 by 18 millimeters with a positive bubble study. Okay, thank you very much. With me is our fellow from Hong Kong, Simon Lam. We have uh, Joseph uh, Vetukatil doing the T again and Laura Vasculuta helping him with that. It's a slightly unusual defect for me because um, the inferior margin is quite good and then the, the superior margin has no much of uh, 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 real margin there and that is slightly confusing me and I measured the defect between 18 and 20 millimeters. It's a very oval defect. Very oval. And yeah. so what is the dimension in the second plane? Um, just let us go to that. Um, it's not a complete envelope, you see. That is how I'm seeing this part. I am not seeing a, a margin. That's my main problem. Joseph? Here. Yeah. Just very quickly go through the uh, 2D echo on this. We, yeah. We've gone straight for 3D. I will show you the 2D pictures in a second. So, so that you may have acquired. No, I haven't acquired anything. Oh, I see. It's just uh, started here. So I'll go to the zero position and then I will show you. Could we ask Siad Amin whether to close or not to close this ASD? Yeah, we haven't question. seen the pictures enough yet, but we will. So oh, there Sahid. you can the see room. the ASD Sahid. in. Um, no, he's not in there. Sorry. Yeah, he wants to be more careful here. Yeah. That's why he's left. Okay. See there, you, you can see the aortic margin at uh, 45 degrees. That's a good margin, though a bit thin on both ends. That's then actually a very thin septum, uh, posteriorly right. as, as well as anteriorly. And then you can see it on X-plane, but it's not perpendicular, so you're measuring very obliquely on X-plane there. And uh, let's come off uh, X-plane, and then we go to, let's say, by careful view there. There is a yep. slight overlap of the yeah. margins there. Sort of almost spiral type defect. Uh, yeah, not true spiral, but a bit of a margin overlap. And AV valve rims are okay? Yeah, AV valve rims are fine. So so why is it giving you a 3D see, a part of there, the there, in that view, you see there, there is hardly any margin I'm seeing. That's my main concern there. It is, it's like uh, superior, anterior superior margin is a bit deficient. Aortic margin is fine. Still spiral, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So now let's go for balloon sizing then. 23. 23, okay. Two May I have a question? Yeah, yep. sure. Where are you, Dietmar? Uh, Horst, do, do yeah. you use balloon sizing in any case yeah. or what is the indication for using an, or in the opposite? Uh, if you are using a, uh, a balloon sizing, why do you, do you need a TE or 3D or whatever? I don't need the TE for any measurements. I mean, we are doing these measurements, but I don't need it for that. I, I need this because it helps me to place the device and to assess the result. I, compl I personally complete, uh, completely rely on balloon sizing. And this is a good example that, that balloon sizing plays a role and uh, changes the, uh, the opinion of most of the experts here. So uh, the, the device we are going to use is, uh, uh, again, this patient has been kind of pre-scheduled and we certainly can change that. But uh, he has been scheduled for the new LifeTech device, the Seraflex device. And we have prepared a little demonstration of the device. Can you please yes. show us what the sure, special features sure, of that sir. is? Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor to do a brief uh, introduction and demonstration to all of you. Um, as you see in my hand, this is uh, the third generation LifeTech uh, Gluter. Uh, this is a uh, this is a Cephrex device, and of course, this is a softer uh, version for a demo. And let's look at the device first. Um, on the left side, there's no tape, no hump here, and uh, which can accelerate 
uh, endothelization and endothelization and um, yes, this, th this is a newest connection between the cable, uh, between the cable and the device. We use uh, this kind of connection can, you know, uh, have a very flexible connection structure. There are two um, button here, uh, button here to release the device. The original one is um, is in is an insurance button. If um, okay, okay. For example, as uh, if the device is well uh, positioned already, and um, physicians wanna uh, release the device first of all, press. Uh, press, keep pressing the orange one and pull the blue one back. Keep pressing the orange one and pull the blue one back. And the device, yes, and the device will just release. It's very convenient uh, to use. So uh, the recommendation is the LifeTech device is a little bit softer than the uh, St. Jude uh, AGA device. So the recommendation is to oversize at least by two. So we had measured 23, that means we should go for a 26, and which is in, in line with the uh, recommendations we got from the, uh, from the audience here. So the, the sizes oh, okay. are three millimeter increments, is it's, that correct? It's in three millimeter increment, yeah. Maybe 24. Yeah. But that's, see, that's the margin. Uh, wow. So that's where okay. the margin is. No. no. So I'm okay. flashing this. So you've gone for a 26 Zeroflex. Yeah, that is 26 Zeroflex. And that's through a what sheath? That is the, the 12 French sheath. Okay. friction here. Okay, now it goes. Mm -hmm. I usually go about 45 degrees where I see the iron. Post the delivery right. sheath is 12. No, and that's, that's a that's a live tech uh, delivery yeah. sheath. Yeah, it comes with the <coughs> device. Not yeah. this it's not the steer it's not the steer steerable one, is it? No, it's a regular one. Okay, so I'm advancing it through the sheath. You have to pay attention because Obviously, there's no left atrial hub, so it may be difficult <coughs> to see. Okay, I'm pulling back the sheet. There's the marker of the sheet. Removing the delivery tool. I'm starting opening it. Left atrial disc is open. And I would like to see also the long axis view on TEE. Long axis view, please, as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what I always do nowadays is to rotate the sheath towards the right upper pulmonary vein. I'm slowly deploying it. Yep, that looks good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Joseph, how does that look like? Looks so far good. There is a good margin. Uh, that's and that's a good good grip on the SVC margin there. And both discs are on uh, appropriate atrials. The left atrial disc is nicely uh, conformed, and then you can see the IVC margin there, which looks fine. Just put some color on, please. The nice thing here, Horst, uh, on the fluoro is a lack of tension. Yeah, absolutely. This is a very flexible connection between the device and the delivery curve. So I think there is no distension of the septum at all. Yeah, looks good. And then, uh, short axis view. Just look. Let's take the color off. That's so if you had thing. to recapture, how does that work with this device? I, I had not had that situation that I have to recapture. Maybe someone else can, can comment on that. 
But it's a, I mean, it it's, should be the same as pulling it back into the loading tool. Anybody there who had experience with recapturing the live text? Only graphics? once, and it comes back not quite nicely. It's uh, uh, that's mm -hmm. not a big issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Good. Yep. So uh, may may I ask some of us to uh, wiggle yeah. test? Yeah. How do you do this, this with this device? Good. The pulling is, seems easy. The pushing would be interesting. Good point. Yeah, let's try that. It's probably mm -hmm. pushing is probably not not good way here, as you see. Pulling works, but pushing not. I, I must say I, I rely much more on echo nowadays, and uh, don't yeah. usually I don't do a pull and push test at all. I'm happy with the. Happy with that, so we can release. Everybody yeah. agrees. Simon, would you like to release it? Okay. It's a Chinese <coughs> device. You have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, first I press the orange button. Yeah. All right, can we see that close up? Yeah. yeah. So I press it, and then I, rem I, draw, uh, withdraw the, I pull the uh, blue button backwards. Mm -hmm. And looking at the throw, it's now detached. It's released. Yeah. Okay. Good, excellent. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Horst. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>